Hello everyone, I'm Marcia Baker and I just thought I got something in the mail today so I haven't opened it so I thought I'd just open it in front of you guys. Anyway, I'm like so excited. So do you remember, here I'm going to like uh, put this on, hang on, let's do that and there we go. Anyway, yes, do you remember the 100 day project? Yes. Anyway, I started on April the 7th, I think, and did a hundred doodles every day. So I did just, so to um, improve my drawing skills, you know, if you draw every day, if you do something every day, practice makes better, right? Uh, so I just picked some random thought and I tried often to connect it with um, crazy holidays or weird days to recognize things like um, April 20th was Earth Day. So I figured out different ways to draw the earth. I mean, these are, and, and the reason that I'm doing this is to just um, increase my visual vocabulary. So when I'm sketch noting, it's like, boom, oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, we're talking about John 316 and God so loved the world. And like, then you could just do this, this little heart right here, right? So um, you could just, um, you know, so you just, it's just going to make your sketch noting easier, the more things that you can draw. So anyway, so it was quite a, a project because they really recommend that you do like 15, 20 minutes a day tops. But wow, when you think about Mexico and then you start doing the research and are the crowns and I mean, it's just a ton of research and then to practice the drawings because sometimes it's like, some of the drawings I wasn't comfortable just drawing right out. I I do it on paper and then I, I you know scrap paper and then put it back in the book, and uh, so it was quite a thing. And for me, I am I'm so bad about starting and not finishing. So I really decided if I didn't do anything else, I really really wanted to finish. So I did. And it's very exciting. So here's I'm flipping through. I mean, got some Facebook lives and other stuff going on, but for the most part, oh, there we go. Gosh, golly. Um, you know, Chinese lanterns, that was a really fun day. That one was really fun. Paul Bunyan. So that was kind of a little sketch note-y thing. That's very interesting. I'm not very tall tales kind of girl, but Paul Bunyan, very interesting. Six cities count him as their own mascot type person. So uh, interesting. So learned a lot and that was really good. And um, anyway, and then on my 100th day project. So can I, oh, there we go. Um, I decided to sketch note some of my favorite pro projects of other people's 100 day projects. And uh, my very favorite was Whitmore and Rose. And her name is Katie Fields and she's an artist and she lives in England. And um, so what she did was get a Pantone card. In fact, let's just go look at her. There you go. So Whitmore and Rose. Um, this is Katie Fields and she lives in England. And uh, so we're going to zip down. And so she got these postcards uh, from, uh, so Pantone is an ink system. So in fact, in fact, I will flip back over here really quick to me. There you go. So Pantone is, oh, you maybe like to look at this way. Yes. Is an ink system. So like when I am um, Working in Adobe Illustrator, I use this and just if I want to find the right color, like, oh, you know, that's, I just need the right color blue. So maybe I'll go here and then, and then, you know, I've got several blues anyway. So there's thousands of colors, but anyway, so she got some postcards with Pantones on them and then decided to paint on them. And uh, I just thought how creative, what an awesome, awesome idea. And, uh, and my favorite, this is my very favorite. Okay, maybe go back and see. Um, there we go. My very favorite is this um, jellyfish. I really, really wanted this one, but I wasn't fast enough. So I had to pick another one, which I'm really happy with the one I picked. So we'll just have to see. It's a big reveal here in just a second. So, um, but I just thought, what a creative idea. And uh, I just thought, you know what? Uh, you know, I, after I deserve... I don't deserve anything really, but I just decided to treat myself. Maybe that's a better way to say it. Um, I decided to just treat myself um, to one of her hand painted things, um, little Pantone postcards. And so I just, oh, 
message. There are a lovely ones, but um, so anyway, I'll just tell you which one I why I decided to pick the one I did. So it came in the mail today. I actually ordered it on July July the fifteenth, right? The day of the day at the sixteenth, right? The day after. Um, and here's her. Here is her. Um, so these are the ones that are still left. If this is interesting to you, oh, I didn't see the fish one. So anyway, that's a very cute little fish. Anyway. These are just adorable, and so she's so creative. Um, so anyway, so it's Whitmore and Rose on Etsy if you're interested. But uh, let's get back to me. Let's see. Let's do this one. There we go. Okay, so here's my envelope that came today. Royal Mail. I'm so excited. And do not bend. And so what I think she did was just kind of take, um, and then I got some washi tape on the side, so I'm very excited about that. Um, but she, I think she took a piece of cardboard and just took paper and um, kind of folded it around. So anyway, I got my trusty exacto uh, knife. I don't know how sharp it is, but I thought maybe this might be the better. Well, I don't know. Maybe we could just open it this way. Nope, that's pretty glued shut. So we're going to open it this way. Anyway, I'm so excited. So I think that she's very creative and I can't wait to see what else she does. Um, anyway, I just thought that was great. So I've always been love paint, all the paint chip art that's out there. Um, do little paint chip crafts. We've done some paint chip crafts with the, the kids in um, sun, Sunday school, children's church and such. So, okay, are you ready? I'm so excited. So is this going to come out? Here it is. And okay, here's the big reveal. Da -da -da. Oh, I, and this was day 93, 93 out of 100. And ta-da, it's this one. So I picked this one because this is one of the walls in my kitchen. And I thought, oh, well, that's like chocolate cupcake. Yeah. And me and chocolate, we all know about how much I love chocolate. So this is going to get framed and go in my, oh, I'm so excited. This is just delightful. So this was my treat to myself for finishing a hundred day project. Oh, look at that. So, oh my gosh, that was so fun. So this was my big reveal. I'm very excited. So anyway, so this just made the 100 day project all worth it. So thank you, Katie. And she signed it in for me. So I'm very excited. Anyway, so stay tuned and maybe I'll show it to you in my kitchen. Anyway, I will see you in the next video and hope you guys are having an amazing day. Bye-bye.